This video will show you how to run a channel flush using the Printer Jockey interface. The first thing you will need to do is you will need to select what printer you want to run the channel flush on. In this case, we're going to select the Epson Stylus Pro 7880 printer. From there, go up to Printer's Options and choose the Channel Flush menu. The Channel Flush menu will pop open, and you now will have your four choices of what level of channel flush you would like to do. Starting in the top corner, you'll notice how much ink will be dropped down based on the size of the sheet of paper that you select. If you would like to change it from the least amount to the second, just click the little arrow buttons below each one and that will change which one is being used. After you selected the appropriate amount to run your channel flush, you then will need to come over to the print settings and select the size of the print page you're going to be doing. In the drop down box, you'll see that all of the standard sizes are listed already for you. So select, in this case we will select the letter. Then you will need to select what mode your printer is running in printer can run in either sheet or roll mode. If you're using a direct to garment printer, please contact your manufacturer to figure out whether the printer runs in sheet or roll mode. The next print setting you'll look at is what resolution you'd like to print at. The higher the resolution, the more ink that will be dropped down. For nozzle checks that come out real bad, you might want to increase the resolution or increase the amount of the page that will be printed. You following, you can choose whether you like it to print bi-directional or unidirectional, simply by checking the box. Underneath the ink channels area, you will have your choice of what channels of ink you would like to select. You can keep all of the channels selected, or you can unselect certain channels that come out with a perfectly good nozzle check. In this example, I'm going to unselect the light magenta, light cyan, light black, and black channels. This will only run a channel flush using the light light black channel, the cyan, magenta, and yellow channels. If some of the nozzle checks came out better looking but still clogged than other ones, I can also adjust the levels by clicking on the levels button. The levels button gives me the ability to grab the slider and slide it down to it changes the number in the box below. This means that this channel, the light light black channel, will only be flushed at 62% compared to the cyan, magenta, and yellow channels. Once you've used all your sliders in the correct spot, go ahead and hit OK and then hit Create. It'll go ahead and create the channel flush for you, send it straight to the print queue, and off into the printer.